Hello everyone and welcome to this new course. In this course, we will go over the entire process of creating a traditional Chinese room using Unreal Engine 5, Blender and Substance Painter from start to finish. We will go over modeling in Blender, texturing using Substance Painter and setting up the scene, lighting and materials in Unreal Engine 5. All the modeling will be done using Blender. However, the techniques used are universal and can be replicated in any other 3D modeling package. The materials and textures will be created using Substance Painter. Level art, lighting and composition will be done in Unreal Engine 5. In this course, you will learn everything you need to know to create the final results that you see in the images and trailer. The same techniques can be applied to almost any type of environment. This course has over 11 hours of content and we will go over every step in this course together and nothing will be skipped. This course does not have any kind of time lapses so that you can follow every step easily. We will start by gathering some reference images to gain some initial ideas and the mood for our scene. We will arrange these reference images in a free program called Pure Ref. After this, we will move on to Blender and start modeling our main assets. We will start by modeling things like the writing table, chairs, shelves and all the different props in our scene. The entire process of modeling will be covered in Blender only. After we have modeled all our main assets, we will UV unwrap and export them to Substance Painter. To start with the texturing process, we will learn to create high quality and realistic materials and the key features of Substance Painter like smart mask, generator, smart materials, etc. After this, we will import all our models and textures into Unreal Engine and set up the scene over there. The next step would be to set up lighting and create a mood and atmosphere for our scene. We will use the new features of Unreal Engine such as Lumen to get realistic lighting for our scene and also set up a post-processing volume to further enhance the scene's visuals. Then we will spend some more time creating a lot of small props to further detail the scene even more, like some vases, lamps, teapots, etc. We will end this course by adding a couple of props from Quixel Megascans to give the environment a finishing touch, setting up different camera angles and taking high-resolution screenshots for our portfolio. So I hope to see you there in the course. Thank you.